Hi everyone, Aiden here with the trailer. Today we're taking a look at the Kurt Premium on our 2023 Chevrolet Tahoe. The Kurt Premium is a hanging style bike rack. It'll hold the bike by the frame hanging down below with two straps over the top to keep it down in these cradles with a third strap around the seat post there limiting our side to side movement. It doesn't entirely eliminate it, but it does help with bike to bike contact and in some cases bike to vehicle contact if it were to sway too much. So things to keep in mind with this is because it's hanging style, making contact with the frame, we do want to avoid carbon frame bikes. And then alternative frame bikes are probably going to need a bike adapter bar to make sure they hang level and attach properly. The thing with this though is that with kids bikes, it shouldn't be as much of a problem. The arms at the end actually narrow together here, make them far more accommodating for those smaller frame sizes that you see on kids bikes. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. You might still need a bike adapter bar depending on the bike you have, but just keep that in mind that it may not be as much of an issue here. And with this, we can get it unloaded. The four bike version does have a 180 pound weight capacity, and that's total capacity. So just make sure all your bikes together don't exceed that. And if you decide to go for the five bike version of this, it can hold up to 225 pounds. So if you do need a bit more capacity out of it, you can get one that's a bit more. Overall, they'll function the same way. That five bike version just has a third slot at the end for another kid's bike. Now setting this to the side, this does have the ability to tilt away, but without bikes loaded. So get everything unloaded and come to the bottom where we've got our hand knob that will loosen, a pin and clip that we can remove, and then this last pull pin at the top to release the mast. This lets us open up the back hatch of our vehicle, get to things inside, or maybe sit in the back and change our shoes before or after our ride. You do have to unload everything just because with how far it tilts down, bikes could make contact with the ground. Now for some people that's a real deal breaker, but if you're only using this to get to your destination and you don't really plan on stopping at all between then, then it really doesn't matter too much because chances are your bikes are already gonna be off and ready to use when you need access to the back. Now everything attaches in the same order, just in reverse, as we did to remove it. And although it's a lot of touch points to get it to tilt down, it does end up making a much more stable upright mast with less movement. So that's pretty nice to see. Now I'll grab my tape measure real quick and begin to get some measurements, starting with our distance added to the back. The arms do stick out a little bit, at the very end coming in at about 37 inches, which for four bikes really isn't bad. Keep in mind, if you get that five bike version, it will stick out a little bit more, but we can save some space by folding the arms down. Coming to the same pin at the top, we can remove that and reinsert it with the newly aligned holes to fold the arms down. So if we wanna leave this in the hitch between rides, we can. And now it only sticks out 12 inches from the back. So it's a lot more manageable for parking spaces or maybe even your garage. Down at the hitch, it's working with our two inch by two inch receiver tube and comes with an anti-rattle bolt to keep it solid in the hitch. I would recommend upgrading to a locking anti-rattle bolt just for that security aspect. And you can always pair it up with a cable lock that can run through this loop at the back of the mast. And if you're looking for a way to transport a lot of bikes with your Tahoe, and you want it to be pretty accessible and easy to use, I do like the Kurt Premium. All the pins and clips could definitely be easier to use. Lever systems like you see in the Yakima Ridgeback are definitely nicer, but I like that it's so accommodating for kids' bikes. And I think it makes it a great bike rack for families. Plus, you've got that option for a five bike version if you need it. Thanks for watching. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. 